I think uh, the question was what is the state of the Singapore industry? Whether is it ready for the international market? Uh, based on commitment, talent, and infrastructure. Uh, okay, but I'll try to remember that. I think as far as talent is concerned, uh, maybe I'll talk about talent first. Um, I think there are many, many talented filmmakers in Singapore, uh, and the community is growing. Um, but I think we always have to look at, you know, what what is the definition of a filmmaker. I feel that there are too many film directors. Uh, there should be more people involved in the in the scope of other things concerning filmmaking. You know, the business people, the marketing people, writers, for that matter. I think there, there are a lot of talent, there is a lot of talent that's coming in, but everybody seems to want to be you know, the film director, which is not necessarily which is, which is not necessarily wrong or right, but I think uh, you have to understand that if you want to be in the film industry, you don't necessarily need to be a director you know, from A to Z. I mean, you, you, it's, it's, it's a skill, it's a craft, but it's not necessarily you know, just a one-shot focus career. So as far as talent is concerned, I think there are people, there are talented people coming in, but everybody seems to only want to be a director, which, yeah, you know, it's, it, to me it's just, you know, you know you're, you're, you're foregoing the rest, you know, of the skill set that can really offer the, 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 the equal amount of enjoyment and uh, rewards, if not more. Um, if you're talking about commitment, I think, I think the Singapore government is really committed into putting Singapore on the creative economy map. Uh, they have recognized that, that this is something that's exportable, not necessarily uh, uh, not necessarily reliant on the physical infrastructure. Uh, and I think there is also a, uh, an interesting emphasis on generating intellectual property uh, that can travel. So I think there is a certain level of commitment put to you know, the people overseas and also locally that this is something that we want to do. Uh, and coming down to infrastructure, I think that uh, it's a very pragmatic situation that we have. Um, Singapore is very small, but we have a lack of space. Uh, but to really, really put in the commitment uh, into the media industry, and to generate the creative economy, I think uh, the infrastructure has to be in place. Uh, so there is a commitment to build some stages in Singapore to attract you know, international level uh, work. Uh, there's also a, a commitment to, through building the sound stages and to, through getting international work to groom you know, the local filmmakers to fill certain uh, occupations. Uh, Besides that, I think the infrastructure in Singapore is also pretty stable. Uh, we are known as a financial hub. You know. Politically, we are, we are stable. You know, we, we, we are more global and cosmopolitan than a lot of our Asian neighbours. And, and, and the impression that we give, I think, to, to the key markets, the key English-speaking markets, you know, uh, North America, Europe, is that we, we, got a good, we have a good infrastructure to help you know, uh, like legalities, contracts, uh, financials, you know, uh, pretty much a urban you know, city that can offer this. So that's also kind of like infrastructure. And I think if you play all, all of them in the same card game, uh, we, we do have that positioning. Uh, I really think it's a matter of finding the correct project or projects that can actually push, push us into the international market. So that people recognize that yeah, we can do something here. We can actually help other people make movies here, and you know, things will move.